Hello and welcome to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, today I'm going to another greater than killer from the Daily Killer Sudoku site. Uh, last time I had to go on one of these I made a false presumption, so do call me on those if that happens. Um, I got lucky that time, but uh, the logic wasn't perfect. So let me know if you spot anything like that. You can help me as much as I can help you. But let's have a crack at this one. It's from Thursday this week, rated 10 for difficulty. Um, and as always, let's start with some of the cages where there's only one pair of numbers possible. So that one three is quite useful because of this eight cage. That now can't be one seven or three five. It must be two six. Um, and in this box here, we know it adds up to 45. There are three cages already delineated within it. They add up to 35. So these two other cells must add up to 10. They can't be 9, 1 or 8, 2. They must be 7, 3 or 6, 4. But this 8 cage has to have either 7 or 3 in it. We can see it's not 2, 6. So it must be either 1, 7 or 3, 5. So these two can't be 7, 3. So they must be 6, 4. And it must be in that order because we've already got a 6 in the row. Now in this box, we've got three cells that already add up to 32. These two add up to 13, therefore. And they're not 4, 9 or 6, 7, so they must be 8, 5. And the 13 plus the 4 is 17. These other two in the 21 cage must be 3, 1 to make that add up to 21. So now in this column, we've got 1, 3, 4, 8, 9. The only possibility for the seven K for the nine cage is two seven, and that puts five six in the other two cells in some order. Um, now this eight cage, the five has meant that we know it's the one seven version, and that fixes that four cage and that four cage. The last number possible here is a nine for that row. Nine now must go with two six in that 17 cage, leaving four seven for the 11 cage. Um, now, have a look at this box. Again, we've got a 15, and then we've got two equal signs. So all of these two cages are equal to each other. If there's a 15 remainder, they add up to 30 and are worth 10 each. This one can't be 9, 1 from the column, it can't be 2, 8, and it can't be 6, 4. So it must be 3, 7. Um, the others are a bit harder to turn. Wait, the 15 has to have a 5 in it. Neither of these can have a 5 in it, or they'd be 5, 5. So there's a 5 in this one. And that fixes this 5, 8 pair up here. And now this can't be 5, 3, 7 or 5, 4, 6 or 5, 8, 2. It must be 5, 1, 9. That gives us a 2, 3, 6 triple up there. This box isn't so clear. That's either 4 or 8. So that's 2 or 6. And this could be either of the even combinations of 10. So that's quite useful. I'm not sure we can do much more around this side now. Let's go back to this cage where we started, this box where we started. This cell can't be 1, 3, 2, or 6. Can't be 4, or that would be a 4 as well. It must be 5 or 7. And that, therefore, is 1 or 3. Now, I think where we'll go next is up to this cage. Um, have a look at this 5 box. Now, I might... I think I'll be unwinding this in a moment. If this was 2, 3, that would fix this 7, this 8 cage. Now, what that would mean is that this 9 cage would be either, with 2 and 3 being gone in the box, this would either be 1, 8 or 4, 5. Um... And this 19 cage now, it couldn't have a 2 or a 3 in it, so they're gone. It can't have both a 4, it can't have both an 8 and either a 4 or a 5 in it. 
So they're gone. It would have to be 469. And this 11 cage can't now be 47 because of the 4. It can't be 56 because of the 6. It can't be 92 because of the 9. And it can't be 38 because of the 3 in the box. So that has proved that this 2, 3 was wrong. So as I said, we'll just take out these assumptions. Um, restore the 5, 3 possibility there. Take out 2, 3. And instead, we now know that's 1, 4. That fixes this 8 cage the other way. Um, and that's given us a 3 here. That 3 fixes this cage, 3, 7. The 3 in this box has to be here because of that 3. That's 2, 5. Um, so we've got a 3 in this column and a 3 in this column. So there must be a 3 in this column in this box. Can't be at the top or the middle. Must be at the bottom. And that's resolved a 9 cage they've given us. So that's quite useful too. Um, now, going back up to this box up here, this, by the same logic as before, this can't be 1, 8 or 4, 5, must be 2, 7 or 3, 6. This cage here can't be 7, 6, because one of them is used there, so it's either 4, 9 or 5, 8. Um, what else can we see here? Oh, this pair up here, in this box, we've already got 33 taken up in three cages. That must add up to 12. Can't be 4, 8. So it's either 3, 9 or 5, 7. Um, if it was 3, 9, that would be 2, 7. So the 7 would be used. Now, I have to restore these possibilities. Um, this, therefore, can't have a 7 in it, because that must be in one of those two cages, and it can't have a 4 in it, because that's already in the 5 cage. If it was 2, 8, 9, that would be 3, 6, that would be 5, 7, that would work. If it was 5, 6, 8, that would be 2, 7, that would be 3, 9. Mm, they're both possible. That's annoying. Um, if it's got an 8 in it, but we don't know whether it goes with 2, 9, or 5, 6. Ah, this 6 that we got in the 9 cage, though, that's resolved this cage here. That's good. And that disambiguates that one. So these are 7, 8, 9. These are 1, 4, 5. Um, uh, that 2, 7 has been resolved. Those is a two. Don't know which yet. Ooh, I just feel was there something up here I could have done better. If that we know it's not a three, but we don't know much else about it. be able to disambiguate this 5, 9, or 8, 6. Can't quite see how yet. Um, 1, 5, 3, 4, 2, 6. Here we go. This cell here, because of the column, can't be 3 or 6. So this can't be 3 or 6. So that's resolved this cage as 2, 7. And that sorts out the rest of that box into at least pairs. So now, 5, 6, 8. This one here is either 4, 7 or 2, 9. Um, can we tell which one? Not necessarily. Six and eight. So they're getting restricted a bit. That can't be two and seven. That can't be three. Oh, I just think we're nearly there now. Um, ah, 
Yes, this can't be 4-9 in this 13 cage because one of those is needed here. This either has to be 4-7 or 2-9. So that can't be 4-9. So now we've got a 5 in the box. That fixes that 5. And that does disambiguate this 14, which we wanted. Um, 6 3 That can't be 9-2 because there's a 9 there. So that's 4-7. Right, so now... Some of these others sorted. That can't be six. So this is coming together nicely now. Two, six, four, seven, three, nine, one. That must be eight. That must be five. Uh, four, one is sorted by that four as well. It's resolved one, three. Those are straightforward now. Okay, oh look, we've got this 6-2 resolved there as well. Um, so, it's coming together. That can't be 5-9, because they're in the 14 cage. Um, and that one, and that one. They put a one in this cage here in some order. Now this bottom cell, A2736145, given the numbers in its row and column, it must be a nine. That resolves that number. So now that's one or four, that's one or four. Nine, five, three, that can't be five. Um, the one relation, ah, oh, this six, this 18 cage, it's got a six. It can't be six with three, nine, because neither of those can be three, because of that three and that three. It can't be five, seven. We've got five there and a five there. So that's four, eight in some order. Um, so that two is either going with, I don't know, it could be four, six, or eight. Um, I think the last relationship we're going to have to use is this cage being more than this cage. Um, but we might just have to work out what can go in all of these cells to make some progress here now. So that could be 287. This one, 7 or 8 only. Um, this cell here, there's quite a lot of possibilities at the moment. 1, 4, 5, 7, 8. Um, let's have a look. These, I feel they can't be a 4, but I'm not sure why. Maybe they could. This one here, three, six. Sure, I can do some sorting out up here. I've got that nine, that pushes that two, makes that one a five, makes that one an eight. Um, five, nine, two, six, three. That does at least reduce some of the possibilities. That's one, four, eight at the moment. Ah, and that's a triple of one, four, eight. So the only place left for a six is there. That resolves that 6-4. That can't actually be a 4 now. Yes, this is 2 with either 4 or 8. This here, 3, 4, 9, 2, 6, 1, 5, 7, 8, all look possible. That can't be a 4 anymore. So now we can see that this can no longer be the 2 that we've put in there. Um, 7 and 8 form a pair in this column, so that's not 8, that's not 6, that's not 2, neither of those are 6. Um, so we've now got 3, 6, 2, 1, 5, that could still be almost anything, um, and could so could that. Fixing three nine up there. One of those is nine, but we don't know which. Now, one of these is a one, so the other one is a four or a five. It's quite a big difference. If this was the four, then that would be two eight. This would be four. That would be one. That would be eight. That would work quite well. 
So if this was the one, that would be four, that would be eight, that would be one. This would have to be five, so we're up to 15. That's a one, that's two, four. So that would make seven going against 15 plus seven or eight. That would have to be nine, one, five, seven, making 22. That would have to be one, two, four, eight, making 15. That would have to be nine, couldn't be eight. That's already in the cage. So I think that would have to be a nine in any circumstances because the other alternative doesn't work. So I think we've got the nine fixed there. It's hard to display, but I don't think there's any way of making that more than that without this being nine. So there we go. That's a quite a tough last step, although I do think that it is logical. Um, maybe that's why this puzzle is so easy to categorize as a 10, but it's quite late on that that came. And the rest of the puzzle, I think, is going to work neatly now. Ah, oh, well, actually, we still have to work out this one. So we've got 9241, so that adds to 16, against 91515. So this can't be less than this. So that must be 8 over 7. And I think that surely then finishes off the remaining pairs. And hopefully we're going to get the green light in just a moment. Wow, that's quite a tough puzzle, actually. So hope that was useful to you. Yeah, there we go. Takes quite a while to do that, but uh, we're done now. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you again on Craig the Cryptic. Bye for now.